Dr. Ray Foxworth, President of Cairo Health USA. I'm here today with Dr. Askew, and you practice in what state? North Dakota. They get cold up there, huh? A little bit at times. I'll bet. Yeah. Yeah. Enjoying Austin weather this <laughs> yeah. weekend. We're actually at a Clinical Compass uh, uh, board meeting uh, in Austin. So what was your first exposure? How did you become involved with the, the Compass? Besides walking in a wrong room, yeah, yeah. <laughs> which seems to be a wrong recurring door, theme with this, group, with, stuck, with this yeah. group. Yeah, no, um, when I was president of my state association, um, I became involved with COXA, the Cairo Congress, and um, through them learned about CCGPP, and it was a really, really appealing idea to become a part of. And how many years? Well, I, I did a, a couple of years back in the mid 2000s and then took some time off when my family was doing too busy of stuff. And then I came back again about five years ago. So you're a repeat offender. A repeat offender, <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, uh, it, it, it takes a lot for someone to come back after they've been off of something that, uh, like a, that. Or I'm a slow you, learner, yeah. yeah <laughs> exactly. Um, prior to you getting involved with this group, had you ever done or were you involved in research? What What do you think made you gravitate to the interest in guidelines? I have no or? research background whatsoever, but I've, I have a science degree and I've always been a science guy and I always want to know the whys and what's. That's part of it. Um, so that part actually just interests me. But also, um, when I became a chiropractor, I started realizing how many people in other professions, other medical professions, thought we didn't have any evidence behind what we did. And it, it certainly lowered our esteem and made them less likely to refer to us. So it kind of weakened our position in that interdisciplinary world. And um, I thought it would be really valuable to be part of helping promote more evidence and um, getting that established. All right. So about how many doctors are in your state? Probably 350, something like that. What would you guess would be the number that know that you're involved with the clinical compass? 20, 25, 30. <laughs> About that. Maybe less. So it, that was part of, uh, of, of my desire to have an interview with all of the board members because I want to put a face on the clinical compass so they see who the people are that are doing the work on their behalf. And it's not for the money. It's just because it's the right thing to do. Um, like any other organization, the Compass runs on donations. They don't have federal funding. There aren't grants out there. It is literally through donations. So when you run into a doc in your state, how do you verbalize to them the importance of contributing to the Clinical Compass? Well. If they look at what they paid for their education, what their overhead is, and what their investment is in their practice, and what they want their future to look like, um, we are doing a lot of work to provide information they can use as to how to get the best results with their patients in the most um, efficacious way, and give them the support they need if there's any resistance to procedures they're doing and, and if they're doing evidence-based things we have the foundation to protect them and protect what they're doing and um, investing a tiny fraction in us would help so much and support the huge investment they have in in their own world yeah and um, when you're able to substantiate what you do works, why it works. I mean, it's been a game changer, I, I know, in my practice. Yeah. So I want to thank you for serving on, on the board and um, been a passion a, 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 appreciate the, um, uh, the time, effort, and energy that I'm sure that you take away from your practice and from your life. And uh, I hope they give you a raise. <laughs> <laughs> from zero to a little more than zero. Yeah. Thanks for being thank here. Thank you so much for what you do. Thank you.